So I guess we were just talking about Buddhism a little bit, and um, you're telling me that you have a, a master's degree in Buddhism? Yes. Um, I guess, can you just, for the camera, I guess, uh, a little bit more about your background of what you've studied? Okay, yeah. Uh, my background, uh, I finished the master's degree of engineering. Uh -huh. uh, maybe 20 or 30 years ago <laughs> and I have a chance to study more about Buddhist study the master degree program mm -hmm. uh, about four years ago mm -hmm. uh, and then I joined after after I finished the master degree of Buddhist study I think I should do something benefit to the world by apply all my knowledge to help to help to give some information that I know mm -hmm. to the world what I know from uh, Gautama Buddha uh -huh. to the world uh -huh. yeah this is uh, my lip, uh, lip uh, breakout yeah and I guess uh, one of the core principles being uh, Himza and that principle of non-violence to mm -hmm. all living things mm -hmm. what's your kind of perspective on that and how it relates to Buddhism mm -hmm. Non-violence, uh, for Buddhist laymen, we have, we call the, the five morality or the, the five basic, that the five rule, mm -hmm. five precepts that uh, for fighting, abstain from killing, mm -hmm. do no harm to anyone, anyone anybody, mm -hmm. uh, abstain from stealing, Mm -hmm. Abstain from sexual misconduct, mm -hmm. abstain from telling a lie, and abstain from intoxicant or drinking and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the five morality or five precepts of Buddhism. Mm -hmm. It's not compulsory for us to follow, but if we can do what happened, we think the world will be more peaceful. Yeah, okay. like, like you said. Especially so number one. Do no harm to anyone, anybody, any, uh, every element. Do no harm to every element. Not only the animal. This, this environment, the tree, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess um, looking at all the ways we use animals, mm -hmm. um, looking at like milk from a cow, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, for, for myself, I used to not think there was any killing involved. Mm -hmm. and then looked into the process a bit more and just curious what your perspective was mm -hmm. when we use animals in other ways uh, the, the animal product the yeah okay. this is uh, for my perspective about this case uh, it, it should be uh, natural if, if they die okay we can got we can get benefit from the uh, their body mm -hmm. we can get benefit from their body like uh, for for it for eating uh -huh. yeah but if uh, if we kill them for 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 use for for the benefit if we, we kill them it's not for me I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't agree Okay. For me, I don't agree. Yeah. So you choose not to, and I guess within Buddhism, some may yeah. may choose to, and some may choose not to. Yeah, yeah, some. For for me, uh, vegan or vegetarian, uh, this is a, uh, I I am fifty fifty for vegan. If I have a chance to uh, eat uh, vegan vegetable, uh -huh. I I do. Uh -huh. If some place I cannot find the veget vegetable uh -huh. or vegetarian I I eat meat okay mm -hmm. for Kotama Buddha he always say the meat that the people gave to you like uh, to, to the monk if if you know they the people kill the meat for you this you cannot eat Kotama uh Buddha -huh. said but if uh, you don't know. You don't know where where it's from. Maybe you don't know the uh, the people here. You, you don't know about this killing. Mm -hmm. You can eat. This is the uh, the Buddha Buddha tale. Uh, the Buddha word. Yeah, and I guess given um, Buddhism is about seeking the truth, 
Um, that's one of the things I think I like most about Buddhism mm -hmm. from my, um, I haven't looked into it very much, but one of the things I'm very um, passionate about, I guess, mm -hmm. if we were to take something, even if it wasn't killed for us mm -hmm. and, we, and we took it, mm -hmm. would the family not have to kill another animal mm -hmm. instead of eating what they give us? Mm -hmm. So it's still kind of creating um, demand mm -hmm. and saying that it's okay mm -hmm. when talking about nonviolence, it's still something that wasn't okay, had to happen for that to be there. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of, I don't know, does that make sense? Like mm. they're still killing, even if we don't see it or hear it? Mm. This means uh, we should ask for them. Like, uh, are you willing to die for us? Yeah. Uh, if, if I, 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 we, what, what do you think animals would say? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I understand. <laughs> don't, like, uh, mm, uh, we, don't, we don't have the right to kill them. We don't have the license to kill that don't have a license to kill and don't have the right to kill them i think that's great that you bring up rights i mean do you think when we uh, uh kill an animal we violate their rights like violate their interest in living yes yes yeah uh, I, I, this i i, I agree. Yeah. agree yeah so it sounds like you agree like um pretty much with the basic tenets and it's uh, yeah i find it interesting because i think buddhism uh strives to attain a uh, peaceful happier mm -hmm. world yep. and i'm just wondering how some of these mm -hmm. other forms of animal use kind of fit in okay um one other example is um elephants mm -hmm. um, are commonly used in thailand for yeah. entertainment yeah what would you what does does buddhism say anything about kind of riding or forcing them to take baths and do yeah. things they don't want to do torture the animal yeah uh for this uh this is uh we call some like a do some do harm uh -huh. to the animal uh -huh. uh, i don't agree because uh, the I think the elephant, the 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 animal that they use in in for entertainment for mm -hmm. some in the on the stage something like that that like a torture them like a uh, the man man how mm -hmm. like a hit yeah the uh, mm. very very uh, I think violence violence. Mm. This I, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. Yeah. Do you think that monks have a ability to influence decision making in the community? Do you can, think if monks can, came sure. out and said sure. we shouldn't be using these elephants, sure. do you think people would listen? Uh, we we not look uh, the monk they don't look in detail. But they only they, they always say killing, harm harming the the animal is or uh, every element is not good it's not good because make make them suffer do, do you know when when we do like this it means uh, we generate like a uh, great hatred delusion mm -hmm. uh, automatic we generate but the one who do something like that they don't know they think this is for for living or they have the the reason support that their action mm -hmm. <laughs> i think yeah it's yeah. all it's about action isn't it yeah, yeah. the action they always have uh, the the backup to support their their the action right but for me i i i i disagree about this idea that because uh uh, in Buddhism, uh, the core—I I will tell you about the core of Buddhism. One thing, uh, one Buddha teaching we call the eighth fourth part, or the map of the better life. The mm -hmm. map of the better life. Maybe you can see here now. Yeah. Oh, no, no problem. That you that you say is one kind of the eighth fourth part we call the right view, the right intention, the right livelihood, the right uh, speech. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Intention, the right, uh, the right speech, the right action, the right livelihood, the right effort, the uh -huh. right mindfulness, uh -huh. and the right uh, concentration. Right. H, the right livelihood, one. Uh, one of the eightfold part. 
It means what is your career? What is what do you do for job? Sometimes some of them say I have to do for my living. I have to kill the people, the butcher. I have to kill. Yeah. I have to kill the the pig. Uh, for uh, for my living, for for earn some money, something like that. Uh. Yeah. So, is uh, maybe in the future, if they understand more about the F O part, the light view, how how you view the world, what is your vision, uh, like uh, how to interact with the world, how to interact with the animal mm -hmm. what should we do to the animal number one is very 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 important the right view right, well, yeah. how you view the world mm -hmm. and then the right intention the right speech the right action the right livelihood so it means some bush here they against they right. against something like this and do you think part of that is because we create a demand Mm -hmm. we, 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 we say that we'll buy we'll mm -hmm. buy these items and we'll buy these animals mm -hmm. to, to use them or to eat them mm -hmm. do you think when we do that we contribute to that system mm -hmm. uh, the human being they think they are they they're superior yeah they're superior they can control the nature they can control the world somehow <laughs> so when yeah. they feed the animal so it's the right for the, it's the right for him to kill them yeah. for food for blah 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 <laughs> to to use to apply the animal in the uh, on the stage or for fun for blah 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 right and and you think um, based on and this is obviously your perspective um, but uh, what, what's um, based on your experience with Buddhism do you think that it would be more consistent if if more Buddhists were vegan. Mm -hmm. And didn't didn't participate at all in animal use. Mm. This is this mean uh, the weekend in in Buddhism. Yeah, the weekend. We have two kind of Buddhism in the world now. We can classify into two group. First, we call Theravada Buddhism. Second one, we call Mahayana Buddhism. Mm -hmm. For the second one, Mahayana Buddhism, they many of them are weekend. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. For Theravada Buddhism, uh, maybe 50-50 or I'm not sure, maybe 50-50. Some of them agree, some of them say uh, they, uh, they, they don't worry too much about, about the food. If, if they know, if they don't know, uh, like uh, the monk in the Theravada Buddhism, if uh -huh. they don't know uh, where the, the, the meat or the the beef from uh, if they if they don't know they are killed for them they can eat this is a uh, Theravada Buddhism but for Mahayana Buddhism okay many of them are vegan vegetarian okay yeah and, and do you think there's a um, an important difference between vegetarian versus vegan like from uh, like uh, from milk from an, uh, a cow for instance having to impregnate the animal and um, I think one of the, the core principles I one of the core principles of um, Buddhism to not steal do you think that you know if a cow is milk I think we can mostly agree is meant for their young do you okay. think that's taking something that's not ours yeah <laughs> yeah I, I agree yeah I yeah. agree I think we agree on most things it sounds like I yeah. agree yeah yeah because uh, do you act do you act the, the cow already. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, I, I, because the cows can't say, say that it's okay. Uh, you make them work harder. Yeah. Because sometimes they they have the the quantity the quantity of milk only for one day for the day. But sometimes if in the factory in the for commercial they. Uh, suck, uh, suck their milk a lot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes make them unhealthy. I think. Yeah. This is a uh, uh, my view. And do you think it would be more consistent from uh, for Buddhists to not consume dairy because it's taking something that, that that's not theirs? 
I mean, do you think it's more would be more consistent this, with the uh, Buddhist teachings to be vegan versus vegetarian or or otherwise? This is a uh, uh, for vegan for vegan. You do, yeah. No, so no you animals. Don't, yeah. You you don't uh, eat uh, the the egg, right? Correct. So no egg, egg no and, egg, uh, no milk, nothing from animal. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. This is a vegetarian vegetarian. Yeah, because I, I like to analyze because I think um, Buddhism and I agree on so many things, and then there's, there's this one little bit where there's still killing involved, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to kind of mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. Uh, could you please uh, explain me more about the consist cons oh, uh, yeah. consistency? Yeah, consistency. I guess. Consistency. Yeah, I guess um, Buddhism being about not killing. That's cute. And yeah, yeah, exactly, and and milk. Uh, milk and eggs, mm -hmm. you know, from cows and mm -hmm. from chickens, mm -hmm. they're still killing. Mm -hmm. So when they, they stop producing dairy, mm -hmm. they kill the animal and then eat the animal. So it's all part of the same kind of system. Mm -hmm. So even though it's, you know, uh, I know for a, a number of years I used to think that the animals weren't being killed, and now that I know they are, mm -hmm. and that's part of the truth I've discovered, I'm just curious how that fits into the Buddhist, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. discovering that truth. Mm -hmm. Um, it's happened 2,600 years ago. I think uh, in the when the Buddha was alive, I think his teaching may be like a like a no no killing, absent mm -hmm. from killing, absent from killing, mm -hmm. and then later time uh, for some so as society they try to generate more teaching mm -hmm. uh, maybe at in the Buddha time they I think they, they don't kill too much anymore oh, yeah. in the Buddha time but later on uh, some some of them think uh, like a materialism happen consumerism happen later then they they adjust the teaching with their society with their tradition mm -hmm. so we have a lesson to kill <laughs> <laughs> okay so you think you say think i think straight straight if, yeah. if if he say no killing or abstain from killing so yeah this is my idea my, my view also I, yeah, I think that's a good way to put it because you look at the other principles yeah. of, of you wouldn't do a little bit of stealing, yeah. you wouldn't do a little bit of uh, yeah. lying, you wouldn't 100%. do a little bit of stealing. Yeah, not do. yeah. Not okay. do. Sure. that's yeah. brilliant. And I think, just last question do you think um, if we can find a way to respect animals, mm -hmm. we can um, find a way to um, better respect each other mm -hmm. as people? Yeah. Do you think they kind of go hand and connect? Yes, I agree. 100% agree about how to pay respect to each other no matter what they are anymore they are the element of the world we have to pay respect we have uh, I think we have the we should fair enough to treat every element of the world the same mm -hmm. yeah yeah equal these yeah. things yeah wait and there's a really cool program called challenge 22 plus where you can explore veganism further and some of the it sounds like you kind of want to be vegan in some of those situations in restaurants mm -hmm. um you maybe kind of don't because it's not available mm -hmm. and this it's just facebook based if you're interested um i can i can share the details with you i mean do you think that's something you'd be interested with to explore veganism further or mm -hmm. or i can leave the details with you it's up to you okay yeah. okay uh i uh, interest uh, maybe I can uh, follow your your Facebook or your your yeah. website yeah yeah that's all linked on there that's perfect if we start if we start it's happen if we don't start when I, that's a great quote to end it on isn't it <laughs> thank you so thank much, you much thank you very much for, for, really your, uh, uh, for this interview uh, thank yeah, you very much thank you very much can I really really yeah, I really really you. appreciate to to uh, Tell something like this to 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 the world. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Yep. Oh, it's been really nice.